there just to start, man, this has been a heck of a senior season for you, basically. You know, basically all of your numbers are vastly beyond what they've been before. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like kind of came together for you this year? Part of it's got to be just playing every day, but what uh, what do you feel like just came together for you offensively, defensively, everything else? I think there was kind of a mixture of things. I think, you know, bringing Larry onto the mm -hmm. staff, you know, the, the atmosphere the coaches have created is one where you can succeed and you can enjoy succeeding and you can mm -hmm. have fun. Um, you know, there's not any pressure. They don't put, place any pressure on, on us. If it's anybody that places pressure, it's ourselves, on ourselves. And so just allowing to be able to go out there and play um, mm -hmm. has made a huge difference. And then also I think, you know, changing my approach offensively. My first few years I was a guy that was looking to pull everything and I'd lunge at the baseball and I'd make, you know, sliders and curveballs break a lot more than they should because mm -hmm. of my eyes were moving. So I just tried to simplify my approach this year and widen out and just try and focus on hitting balls on the outer half of the plate and just taking the ball where it's pitched and um, just kind of simplifying things and going back and playing baseball like I've done for however many years. Um, I think that's made a big difference. What uh, you, you mentioned Larry at the top there. I mean, what what did he tell you different? How much of, of what you just talked about as far as approach is concerned? Yeah, he he was the guy that you know told me you know widen out, go no stride. Um, he was actually my hitting coach in high school, and mm -hmm. I'd really miss him the first couple years. You know, I'd pick his brain um, you know, with him always being at the games with you know watching AJ. I'd pick his brain every now and then. You know, right. asking him you know what, what can I do? You know, what, what adjustments need to be made and. Um, you know, he'd, he'd give me some, you know, hints and some tips, but with him really being on staff and being able to work with me every day and really break down my swing and, you know, what parts were good and what parts I was struggling with, um, that made a huge difference. You talked about making sliders and curveballs break more than they should. I mean, it seems like your at-bats are like the longest at-bats of, <laughs> of anybody. You're fighting stuff off all the time. You're mm -hmm. capable of just getting a piece of it. Uh, how much of a difference is that for you? Are you, are you do you, you know, uh, are you just better at that than you used to be, or, or is this kind of a new part of your game that you're finding because of your new approach? You know, going back to high school, I was a guy that really didn't strike out much. And so right. my first couple of years when I'd struck out a lot, you know, it, it was very frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when I'm lunging at the baseball, um, you know, my eyes are moving and I'm right. not seeing the pitch as well. And so, you know, I, I've always felt like I've had really good hand-eye coordination. And, you know, when my eyes aren't moving and I can sit there, no stride, and see the pitch coming in, Mm -hmm. Then you know I can make those adjustments to pitches and lay off the the sliders or the changeups down or hit that fastball up to battle and mm -hmm. continue to sustain at bats. So I think it's just kind of a mixture of, of, of things. Right. What uh, you've had sort of sort of an interesting role in the lineup. Obviously it, it, hitting at the bottom of it for most of it and just being that guy who's relied upon to, to turn it over. What's the role been like for you basically? Because it, especially early was really critical. I think a lot of the uh, mm -hmm. the success you guys had. Yeah, well, at, in the. Kind of, kind of a second leadoff spot is kind of you know my role offensively and being in the nine hole and I, I love hitting there. Um, mm -hmm. I love being at the bottom of the lineup and you know getting a chance to get on base and turn the lineup over with you know some of our best hitters coming up. You know I always feel like if I can get on base in the nine hole, I'm going to score. Mm -hmm. Those guys that I've got behind me are going to you know do the job and get me in. So you know my job when I go up there is just try and find a way on whether that's right. walk, air. Whatever it may be, just try and find a way on base and pass it to the next guy because I know those guys behind me will, will uh, do their job to get me in. So do you feel like a leadoff guy? I mean, have you approached this season that way? Uh, not so much. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I like to be aggressive. You know, mm -hmm. if I see a fastball and, you know, I, I go up there sitting fastball and if I see that fastball, you know, in my zone where I want it to be, I'm going to swing at it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think some of the, the times where I've sustained at bats and had those long at bats has come from, you know, just – when I get down with two strikes, just battle. Just right. continue to battle. Um, you know, if it's around the zone, you know, either put it in play or foul it off. And you know, I've been able to draw some walks that way. So, I would say I've not been a prototypical leadoff type right. guy, um, but in some ways, being able to get on base and turn the lineup over and get it to the next guy, I guess you could say, yeah, in a way. What, the, as far as this year is concerned, was there a game or anything that made you feel like, man, I got it this year? You know, th this this year is going to be just a different season <laughs> for me. Um. I think, I think kind of the walk off I had against Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was our first SEC series, right. and you know I'd had some success out of conference, and I, you know, I, I knew this approach that I was having would would lead to some success, and I just wanted to make sure that it would continue to lead to success in the SEC. Yeah, and, and being able to battle off a really good guy like Wyatt Short and being able to get a walk off against you know a ranked team such as Ole Miss it really provided me that confidence to know that this approach that I've taken that I've worked with and with Larry 
it's going to pay off and it, it's going to allow me to succeed in this conference. You guys obviously would have liked to win more games, but I mean, how much more fun have you had personally just because you've been able to have some success and you're, you know, you know, we've always, we always want to win more games, you know, right. You can't win enough. And right. Coach always preaches that to us. But on a personal level, I've had, you know, I've had a lot more fun um, being able to be relaxed and go out there and be myself. Um, you know, experiencing success offensively and defensively, um, it's been enjoyable. And, right. you know, having that support from the coaching staff um, to where, you know, I can go out there and not have to put any pressure on myself. As long as I'm doing my job, they're okay with that. Um, it's been very, it's been very pleasant.